there, Tenno. I'm Shadow Scythe, and today I'm actually going to be doing something a little bit different. Because as opposed to giving you guys a build video, or, um, like an actual coverage of new content, since we haven't had any new content drop just yet, I'm actually going to be talking to you guys about my least favorite mission type and my favorite Warframe to take on that mission type to make it a hell of a lot easier on myself and the squad. Because I'm sure my opinion, as well as everybody else's on this mission type, is roughly about the same, and that's that it sucks. And the mission type that I'm talking about is Interception. Because, yes, the lower level missions... It's not that hard for a four-person squad to each hold one point and just kill anything that goes for the console. But once you start getting into those higher-level missions, especially if you're planning on staying for several waves for whatever reason, the enemies just keep scaling up, and then it gets more and more difficult, and eventually you'll get to the point where they just start one-shotting you. So, in light of all that, my favorite Warframe to actually take on those mission types is kind of out of the ballpark here. It's Limbo. If, for whatever reason, I have to play an interception mission, whether it's an alert, a fisher, or a sortie mission, Limbo is my go-to frame. Just because the trick with this is for going is going more so, not so much for power strength, more so for power range and power duration. Just having that high duration of build or that high uh, duration build actually lets you just use this passive, throw yourself into the void, prep stasis. And throw ca and drop cataclysm right around the area that he's uh, wanting to defend, or right around the area that you're wanting to defend. Couldn't even uh, think of my words there. And then what happens is if you place it right when you know your cataclysm is about to expire, walk outside of its range, re-enter the void reset your stasis and then reset your cataclysm because if you do this effectively you only have to do it two maybe three times per wave and what happens is you just hold everything in place so that the only thing that you actually have to do is keep everything crowd controlled until the end of the wave and then you only have to kill a single wave worth of enemies instead of having to kill several that would have just rapidly upscaled otherwise. Now granted, everything here is a little too weak for me to effectively show this build off. Oh, that's cool. That doesn't actually affect it. But we'll do this. Let's go on the offensive. Get rid of that. You've been seen. Yeah, I don't really care that I've been seen. Target found. Destroy it. But yeah, everything here is a little too weak to actually show off the build effectively. And for those of you that have watched any of my videos before, you guys know my track record with Limbo where the old Limbo before his rework, I was not a fan. I hated playing Limbo with a passion. 
After his rework, I liked the synergy of his abilities, and I have started playing him a little bit more. But for the most part, he's not necessarily one of my go-to frames, but he is a frame that I like going to occasionally just to have fun. Or if, like, for whatever reason I'm playing with friends, then he's a very good troll frame. Ouch. to thwart potentially dangerous discoveries from being fully realized for now but the way that every like I still haven't figured out how his whole rift surge ability uh, works and yes it someone could probably explain it to me it's just the for what I use limbo for, Throwing Rift Surge, or trying to set everything up for me to use Rift Surge, it just doesn't fit my playstyle. The high duration and moderate range uh, build that I tend to use is pretty much the only way that I've found... Or about the only thing that I've actually done with Limbo that I like the way that it plays and it fits my playstyle with them. That that's one of the advantages of Warframe is you build the frame how you want and to your playstyle. Mission complete. Excellent work, Tenno. And I can give you guys a quick rundown of the build that I'm using. If I remember correctly, I only have about two Forma invested in Limbo, so this will be a relatively easy thing to do, providing that you have him. If you don't have Limbo already, though, there are two ways to get a hold of him. You can either do the Limbo Theorem questline to get all of his individual parts, or you can purchase him from the market for 200 platinum. Building him will require you to have an open uh, Warframe slot and you will have to slot in a reactor on your own time. Buying him from the market will give, give you the Warframe slot and a pre-installed reactor. But yeah, two forma. So here's the build. Energy Siphon, Primed Continuity, Intensify, Primed Vigor, and Vitality are the survivability mods, which actually very beneficial with that 940 health. Primed Flow to increase the energy cap. Constitution to further increase duration, as well as give me a little bit of knockdown resistance. Stretch to increase power range, and Streamline for power efficiency. Now, what I would do a little bit... Now, what I would end up doing to further strengthen this build, since we don't have any Elixis mods that actually um, increase duration... And actually, I know I have Augments, or I thought I had Augments... So, at some point, I may mess around with a build utilizing a couple of his augments, not 100% sure. But one thing that I would end up doing later on down the line, I will put another Forma into him, either for Constitution or Vitality. And I, what I'm actually going to do is put in Cunning Drift in the Elixir slot, because this gives me... Tw uh, Increased slide range, reduced friction, and it'll let me crank my power range up to 160%. But that is my rundown of basically my favorite Warframe to use for my least favorite mission type, Interceptions. And if you guys don't believe me, 
the only thing I can really say is try it for yourself. Unless you're someone who's been following me on Twitch for a while, and then you guys actually caught the stream where I actually ended up soloing the last round of a sortie interception because of the fact that everybody else in my squad ran, ran out of revives. So I was the lone Limbo in the squad because I was the only one playing Limbo that then had to jump around across all four points. And holy shit, is it easy to keep a hold of points if you just stand in the center of the map in fucking, uh, or in the fucking void, or in the rift. But, with all that said and done, thank you guys so much for tuning in and for all of the continued love and support over these many months of me doing these videos. As always, it means the absolute world to me that these videos leave some sort of impact in your lives, whether you actually abide by what I say or do your own thing. That's the whole point of these, is to give you a general idea and then see whether you want to do it for yourself or try something different. So if you guys like this video for whatever reason, hit that like button and subscribe, and be sure to follow me on Twitter and Player.me for all things related to Twitch, YouTube, and any sort of IRL derp that could be causing a delay or a cancellation. And until next time, Tenno, stick to the shadows.